Hey guys, welcome back to the third episode of Cooking in Annie's Kitchen. Um, today we're going to make brown bread and I've got two favorite recipes for brown bread. One is my mom and my grandma's recipe. That recipe is in the red book and it's on page 159. And I'll post that on the blog so that even if you don't have the red book, that's fine. The recipe I'm going to make today is one I've started making on the boat as well, and it's a much more New England style recipe, and it actually involves steaming the bread in cans. And the reason I chose it, so this is a very traditional way of doing it, the reason I chose it was because you don't need eggs for this recipe. And I had a friend uh, who asked recently, what do I do, how do I bake if I can't find eggs at the grocery store? So, hence choosing this one. The first thing that needs to happen is how you prep these cans because you're going to end up putting the dough in here or the batter in here and then steaming the bread with a lid. So I have cut out from a piece of wax paper some circles which will then go into the bottom of these cans which helps dramatically in getting the batter or the then bread out of the cans. Right, so that goes in there. Now, I've already sprayed liberally, and I'm gonna show you again, uh, liberally spray the inside of these because again, that helps dramatically with getting the bread out and you're done. Okay, so it's a super simple recipe. It's a cup of rye or wheat flour, half a cup of, no, quarter cup of cornmeal. I'm going to put this recipe on the blog, so I'll just put the ingredients in here and then you guys can go like follow the recipe on the blog, which will be so much easier than following along with me. So salt and baking soda, and then uh, a cup of buttermilk, and then two thirds of a cup of molasses, and then some raisins. So, and that goes. And then uh, this is one of those recipes that you don't mix up much. You just mix until it's combined, and that's it. Working from the center out. Just a quick stir right until it's done and it's fully mixed and that's it. And right now this looks really loose and seems like, oh my goodness, there's no way this is going to become bread. But I promise. I promise. It will. Then, goes into these prepared cans. And of course, these are just cans of beans or tomatoes or whatever that I saved instead of tossing into the recycle bin. And you have to be really careful because these, the edges of these cans are really sharp. So just be smart when you're working with them. A little bit more in each one. And then I'll show you how to put the lid on. Now I also have a pot of hot water that's already on the stove that's going to receive the bread. So, lastly, it's just super old fashioned and I love it. Anything that feels like comfort food these days or um, like something that connects me to ancestors and um, history and what my grandmother used to do. I've been thinking a little bit about like what my grandmother's life was like maybe during the war and, and it seems a little comparable to not in the number of years but just in the experience. So I've been thinking a little bit about how she might have managed all right, so I'm going to tie the rest of these. So that's how one gets tied, right? And I'll tie the other two 
They're all going to go into this steaming water bath, get covered with a lid, and then I'll come back to you. Alright, so now the dough has steamed in the cans for 35 to 40 minutes, and now is the moment of truth. I've taken them out, they've had a chance to cool. So this is what they look like in the cans, right? And then the moment of truth, do they come out? So one way, oh, it's always a beautiful thing when it actually works. So la 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 la, excellent. So at least we have one third success and sometimes I squish it a little bit. Every once in a while I'll run a knife on the inside as well. I don't think that needs to be true for these though. Look at how well behaved they are. Excellent. And then squish it again to, just to release it a little bit. And then a little encouragement. Excellent. Okay. So, and since they're cool, it's all right to then tilt them on their side, and then this is how you'd end up serving them. You just slice some nice thick slices and uh, serve it with butter. Now we're going to have this with some lamb stew that we had in the freezer, and because it's all about cleaning out the freezer these days, right? What do you got on hand? And um, it's been really fun to share this recipe with you. You're going to be able to find it on the blog at At Home at Sea. Let me know what you guys want to hear about, what you want to cook, what you want to know, how can I help during these times. Stay safe, be calm, stay kind.